what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city four and today i'll be doing a quick review on overwatch open beta if you guys have not downloaded the game yet i suggest to download it right now on your ps4 and xbox one because this game right now it is very refreshing i'm glad i'm stepping away from black ops 3 for a while because damn if i wouldn't have stepped away if i was like loyal to call of duty right now i would have been missing so much in this whole month so i jumped into battleborn it was pretty fun and now i'm over here in overwatch and i'm thinking it is pretty fun too man i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get the game i'm gonna tell you tell you guys right now i am getting the game so uh let me start off with the positive side because i know if i start with start off with the negative side a lot of you guys are gonna start this like in the video so um anyways let's start off with the positive side the positive side about this whole situation in overwatch is that it does offer a lot of characters every single way to win is possible with every character i mean you can be a tank you can be a freaking robot you can fly around you can be a sniper you can turn invisible you can be a guy from the wild west there's a lot of ways there's a lot of weapons a lot of choices a lot of abilities per character like it's just a hundred ways to win, man. A lot of ways. And that's one thing that's going to keep the game fresh all the time, which I like, man. I love that they do that. I know Call of Duty Black Ops 3 offers kind of the same thing, but it's annoying because, um, you know, people just end up quickscoping. They just buy the game to quickscope and just do montages. That's pretty much what Call of Duty is right now. That's why I consider that game to be boring as fuck at this point because it's boring. Everybody just does, does the same shit. But over here in this game, whoever has the the good amount of characters to choose and in the right time, because if you choose like a, a sniper in such a tight map, I mean, you're not going to get that far. So there's got to be good choices being taken every time you choose a character. And also you got to learn how to use them because some are more complicated than others, which I like, you know, none of them are easy to use. So, um, so yeah, man, you got to learn, you got to learn to use them all. Cause there's also like four complicated characters where they, you know, so one of them, I think they, they, uh, give shields to each of one of your teammates and then there's another one giving spheres or some bullshit. I don't even know what the hell that thing does. You see, it's very mysterious sometimes when you're using some of the characters that you don't even know about, but you want to try them out because you know it's going to be fun. So overall, my experience right now in Overwatch has been very fun in multiplayer. I haven't tried out the story mode yet, so I don't know what the hell is that about. But in multiplayer, the abilities, the characters, the maps are pretty colorful too, which I like, man. It feels like I'm alive in this freaking game. The graphics look sweet. Man, I've never seen so clean of a graphics before. So um, it's nice, man. It's a nice game to play in. Now, let's let's move on to the negative side now because I know you know, I already, I already gave out my positive side, but let me give you guys some negatives. One of the negatives about this game is that there's no sprinting. Why can't we sprint around? I'm annoyed that I'm always like, I feel like I'm just gliding slowly every time I come out of the gate. So that's one annoying thing that really gets me. Like, I just, let me sprint, man. Let me sprint around. Don't just give it to Tracer or this other assault rifle guy. Um, give it to everyone, you know, let everybody sprint. Cause it's annoying sometimes that, you know, you just take off the gate like super slow. Another annoying thing is that there's already an exploit. If everybody uses Tracer on the same team, you pretty much won the game because everybody's teleporting around. It's impossible. It's a small target too. So seeing that she's like teleporting all over the place, it's going to be a very difficult hit. And also if you try to use the, the Blizzard girl that I was using in the beginning of the video, she's not going to slow her down easily because that Blizzard thing, you got to aim it like for a good old three seconds and she'll be frozen. But... You know, she still has a chance to teleport. That's one of the things that really caught me this game. There was this one match where I ended up facing five tracers and it was annoying as fuck. I couldn't get it done. I just ended up quitting the match. I was like, fuck that, man. Imagine if everybody knew that you, if you used all tracers, you pretty much won the match because it's an impossible hit and it's a small target. So, um, yeah, that's one expo that really got me. Another problem that I see with this game is that, um, well, I actually don't see any more problems. Actually, those are the only things that annoy me. No spring bunning and also an exploit that pretty much can ruin the game in the future. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I thought I would have more negatives, but to be honest, I think there's not a lot of negatives. Huh. Amazing. So, um, yeah, I got nothing bad to say about this game. It's a freaking recommended game by me, guys. A badass seal of approval, just like Angry Joe Show. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get freaking copyrighted right there. <laughs> nah, just kidding, guys. I'm not going to do an old freaking stealing stealing kind of an idea like that. But yeah, man. Um, if you guys saw, are watching my gameplay in the background, man, I was owning with this chick, man. She has a badass backup character. Like, once you destroy your robot, you can turn into this chick. Like, it's just amazing, man. It's a nice game. So, as I said, guys, if you guys want to see some Overwatch or Battleborn, make sure you subscribe for more.